as well uh, in other areas. So this is what the kit looks like. And uh, this is uh, a sample of uh, some of the uh, trays that were sent to us with the wireworms in them. And each of these trays had a description of where the wireworms were collected. And uh, so they were all identified by my technician and then put on maps. So this zeroes in on the prairies and uh, the locations where we got wireworm samples sent in last year. And um, we got a lot from Alberta, and uh, I'd like to thank you guys very much for all of the, the help that you, you've given us. Uh, how many people here participated in that survey? Yeah, there's a few people here. Good. Okay. Um, the first thing I want to point out is uh, the, the most numerous species is uh, Hypnoides bicolor which is a very small species, uh, it's maybe gets up to about a centimeter long, and it's found in non-irrigated fields. And uh, you can see where all the X's are, those are fields where this uh, species was found. Uh, the next species is uh, Salatosomus destructor, or Tenisera destructor, as it was uh, called before. And it also prefers non-irrigated fields. And another important species is uh, Limonius californicus, uh, which is a very common pest in uh, irrigated fields. 